Hello everyone. Someone asked me a very strange question yesterday when I told them I was dyslexic. But Jack, you're a dyslexic novelist. There's no such thing as a dyslexic writer. Yes, there is. Hello. The general public's perspective of the term dyslexic and novelist are polar opposites, but I can assure you, I do exist. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know me, I was diagnosed dyslexic when I was in primary school, but it wasn't really treated until I was in secondary school. I know a lot of the team are based in America with quite a few American viewers. I don't know how that translates on the American education system, but essentially, I was around 10 years old when I was diagnosed as dyslexic. Now, dyslexia affects everyone in different ways. For me, it affects my handwriting and my spelling. As anyone who knows me will happily tell you, my handwriting is awful. For example, I'll give you a good five seconds to try and read a notepad, just some notes I made this morning. Can you try and read that? Most people can't. I used to take a little um, pocket spreader to school with me when a computer wasn't available. Today I was asked Siri on my iPhone how to spell a certain word, and if Siri doesn't understand me, or I'm saying the word wrong, I will Google the phrase with that word in it and get the spelling from Google. Although being dyslexic is a bit of a downer, there are some benefits. In my GCSEs and A-levels, I was allowed 25% extra time and a computer to use in most of my exams, and when I go for job interviews, I sometimes get the same benefits. But dyslexic people tend to be more creative than non-dyslexics. We can grasp new and abstract concepts are quicker than most people. We have stronger reasoning skills. We're more persistent. We can find patterns and links where others can't. And forgive the cliche, as a writer I hate cliches, but this one is kind of true. We can think outside the box for most situations. It hurts me to say cliche, it really does. But obviously these skills are very useful when we're writing a novel. There are numerous dyslexic successful people, including several notable writers. Agatha Christie was dyslexic, F. Scott Fitzgerald was dyslexic, George Bernard Shaw was dyslexic. Um, other notable names include Richard Branson, Kieran Knightley, Albert Einstein apparently, Stephen Stilberg. Um, da Vinci and Edgar Allan Poe were meant to be dyslexic as well. Uh, now's a good time to explain I'm also dyspraxic. So dyslexia and dyspraxia come hand in hand with each other. It's a lack of hand-eye coordination and general clumsiness. So therefore, I am not good at any sports at all whatsoever. Um, best way to think about it is to think of Neville Longbottom from the first few Harry Potter films. Just imagine Neville. Uh, there are a few tests to check if you are dyslexic. Uh, the most common one is a police drunk test. So you have to walk one foot in front of the other in a straight line with your arms held out either side of you. I can't do that test while sober, so just imagine how paralytic I am when I get drunk. Jumping back to Harry Potter quickly, there is another member of the Potter cast who is dyspraxic, Harry Potter himself. Daniel Radcliffe has spoken about his dyspraxia in several interviews. When you rewatch the first two or three films, I think it is, pay close attention to Daniel's eyes. They blink slightly out of sync. That's a sign of dyspraxia in uh, adolescence. You'll never be able to watch those films again now, I've told you that fact. You'll always be focusing on his eyes. When you see it, you can't unsee it. Hello, writer for Ali. This is Jack from the present. Um, just a quick note to say, they've just announced that one of the new Doctor Who companions, a character called Ryan Sinclair, is going to be dyspraxic, and dyspraxia will be addressed in Doctor Who. This is fantastic news, as the problem with dyspraxia, as I'm about to tell you, is that people don't believe it's a thing. They just think, oh, he's just clumsy, and it's good to see it addressed in the modern media. I just thought I'd jump in and say that, and now on with the regular program. And that's it for the video today. Sorry it's a bit random, but I thought it would be a sort of interesting topic to discuss. 
If you're dyslexic yourself and a writer, or if you're dyspraxic even, let me know in the comments down below or on social media. And I hope you have a good week. Take care.